Welcome to the NFL Week 12 Sunday Slate Breakdown, where we cover all the games happening on Sunday. I'm your host, Jacob Wayne, joined as always by Cody Malstrom and Will Schwartz. All right, let's move on to an NFC South battle between the Saints and the Falcons. And this game's essentially a playoff game in some ways. The Saints are an 87% chance to make the playoffs with a win here. Drops to 55% with a loss. Falcons, 39% to make the playoffs with a win, 10% with a loss. And the winner of this game is going to kind of be in the driver's seat in the NFC South, which is by far the worst division in the NFL. It's not even close. Um, Desmond Ritter is back under center for the Falcons. He said the bye week gave him a lot of time for self-reflection. I uh, have to wonder if the self-reflection was about him not being cut out to be a quarterback in the NFL. But uh, moving on to this game, we also don't know what the quarterback situation is with the Saints. Derek Carr is still in concussion protocol uh, after the bye week, which is obviously concerning. Um, not positive exactly what's going on with him, but we might see Jameis Winston in this game. We might get some Taysom Hill under center. So a bit of uh, uncertainty in that angle. Schwartz, curious if you have any side that you like on this one, which is a basically pick them on the spread. Yeah, I was able to grab Falcons at minus 100 or plus 100. It doesn't matter. It's even money. Uh, the Falcons have lost three in a row, and the last two have been by a field goal or less. They're probably not as bad as their record shows right now, and they are coming off a bye, as you indicated. This has to be the bottom of the market for them. Uh, it's a home divisional dog. I say dog with quotes because it's like, I mean, like I said, I got like minus 100 versus minus 120. Uh, but still, I, I don't think a couple weeks ago this is a game where, that we would have expected the Falcons to be or the Saints to be favored or even in. So I just I just think this is a really nice spot for the Falcons. We, we've talked about the Falcons so much. The defense has come a, a, regressed a little bit. It's come a long way from what it's been in the past. The offense still has a ton of talented players and is getting healthy. Like I just I, I am so low on the Saints. I think their quarterback situation that Wayne alluded to is kind of a nightmare. I don't think they're well coached and. Yeah, it, this is this is a game the Falcons need to win, and they probably will. I, also, I think those numbers that you were throwing out are crazy. The Saints, like, what was it, 87% chance to make the playoffs with a win? Is that ESPN Analytics that has Michigan as, like, 11% to make the playoffs a month ago? Yeah, um, I, I don't understand that. That's not really what we're here to handicap, but I, I, I think it just goes into the fact that the Falcons are perceived as a bigger dog than they should be. I, I, this isn't really... This isn't really a lock. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't be referring to it with that kind of terminology. It's actually a half unit for me, but I think it's a, I think it's the clear side. The Saints team just, it, you can't back them on the road. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I mean, the eighty-seven percent comes from the fact that if they win and the Falcons lose, um, they'd be six and five. Falcons would be four and seven. Bucks potentially four and seven after this week. So very much in the driver's seat in that division. Um, but it's. It's crazy how bad these teams are, given how easy their schedules have been this season. They have two of the easiest schedules to date, and yet most of their metrics are pretty awful across the board. So I think I'm curious to see if Derek Carr gets ruled in, if this spread moves, and you might get even more value on the Falcons. So I'm waiting on this one, but I definitely lean the Falcons at home here. Um, I think, I mean, I hope Arthur Smith found some ways to incorporate these awesome skill players the Falcons have over the bye week, because... Yeah, his coaching this year has been pretty horrendous, but the Saints coaching hasn't been that much better. Dennis Allen is, I think, one of the worst coaches in the NFL. So I give the slight edge to the Falcons there. Cody, any thoughts on this one? Um, Yeah, it's a pass for now. Um, like, like, like you said earlier, I want to wait on, on the Derek Carr news. But, man, holy cow, these two teams kind of disappointed. Uh, well, I don't want to say disappointed for Saints because we were low on them going into the year. But we were high on the Falcons, so that has kind of been a rough watch. Uh, their own demise has come from having the second dumbest coach in football. Um, I hate Arthur Smith. Happy he's finally starting to realize that he has B. John Robinson on the roster. Uh, <laughs> so maybe he can utilize him a little more. But it's going to be uh, tough sledding against um, a team who is very, very good at limiting midfield um, rushing. So, yeah, that will be an interesting battle. Uh, but it's just I don't know. I just once again I just I can't trust the this quarterback uncertainty. It's another pass for me. This is by far my most boring video I've done for me um, for you guys. <laughs> I hate this time of year. But um, yeah, no, super fun one in terms of um, division um, implications. And I, did you take Falcons uh, division with me? I did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, we got that. So I'm basically just riding that for this game because this could create a massive swing for it. But yeah, until I get Derek Carr news, this is a pass for me. Um, 
And more so if cars ruled out, I'm going to back the Falcons. If cars ruled in, then it's a total pass. Yeah, pretty uh, <laughs> pretty rough slate in terms of quarterback matchups. This early window is going to be pretty horrifying. But what that sets up is the opportunity to oh. watch. Wait, I'm sorry. Before we go on the next game, isn't Michael Thomas also ruled out? Yeah, he's Did on we talk the about? Year, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I thought so. Um, uh, not like a crazy impact, but I mean, definitely something that plays towards the Falcons who have co- struggled in coverage. Just one last weapon they got to worry about um, who can stretch a field. But yeah, so like, like I said, it's going to be a Derek Carr thing for me. Sorry for interrupting the beautiful intro you were about to set up for pr- the, my favorite game of the, of this slate. Oh, good, man. Yeah, I, I think there's a good chance Michael Thomas is out for the year. So that would have hurt their offense. And then I didn't mean to mention that Marshawn Lattimore is questionable with an ankle injury and would certainly impact their pass coverage uh, if he's unable to play. So monitor that one. And that'll do it for us. Um, hope you guys enjoy this Sunday slate of games. Check out our Sunday night football and Monday night football videos as well. Please like and subscribe. Get notified when all of our videos come up on the YouTube page. We'll catch you guys next week.